Starbucks. Uh, Philadelphia. Uh, two black men just sitting in the in the uh, in the in the, in the uh, store were arrested because a manager thought they were suspicious. Starbucks. Uh, Hawthorne. A manager thinks a black guy is suspicious, won't give him the code to the bathroom. Another conflict uh, ensues. You could play this out in any number of fast food restaurants or restaurants or businesses all across the country. A, a clerk sees a black person, deems that person suspicious, they call the police, and the police treat them as if they were criminals already. Because that ex is exactly how policemen are trained. Policemen their cars say to protect and serve, but that has never been their action with the black community. In the black community, they are to keep us. They are there to protect people and businesses. They are, they are there to make sure black people stay in their own communities and out of where they don't belong. You know what's suspicious to people when a black person is somewhere they don't think they should be? I don't care if it's a, it's a, if it's a department store or it's a, if it's a horrible chain of restaurants, if it's a coffee shop. If it's a neighborhood, we've had black men uh, in their own homes. The neighbor, they've lived there for years, and the neighbor called them because they look suspicious. They don't look like they belong there. We've had people accosted at the uh, at, at tennis, at uh, you know, in New York at the tennis. Uh, James Blake, people thought, think he wasn't, didn't belong there. He was the fourth ranked tennis player in the world. So us being out of place is wherever white people think we don't look like we belong. And police act like they're supposed to act. They've been trained to act that way. Police, in our, in our, in our uh, existence with police, they've always existed to do one thing, keep us in our place. And that's physically and emotionally. That's physically. I want you afraid and I want you staying where you belong. We have to change the way we are policed. I think that it's ironic that it takes six months to become a cop and 12 months to become a cosmetologist. So it's easy to shoot a nigga than to cut his hair. And every time something happens like this, we, they send police officers to racial sif sensitivity training. Look, I don't need a hug. I just need not to get shot. We need to be treated as if we actually are customers. As if we, from, the, from, our, from our very introduction, it is that we are suspicious, that we don't belong. How many times are somebody hit, is somebody shot right now because the police show up, because somebody called them, and they think, oh, they don't belong, and they get killed? We are quick. I don't care. Alton Sterling, the police will call. Michael Brown, the police will call. Trayvon Martin, the police will call. Where somebody thought, wow, this guy doesn't look like he belongs. We've had a Harvard professor in his own home, the, his neighbor called because he looked like he didn't belong there. I don't know how you look like you belong somewhere. I don't know how you look suspicious, but I suspect that it's because you don't have the right hue for your situation. But the bottom line is, we are paying customers. We are paid customers. We pay customers when we walk into restaurants. We pay to live in our neighborhoods. We pay policemen. We pay to be treated humanely. Like, I don't think that it, it, it's that it has to be mutually exclusive. I don't think that you have to, that you, we, we should have police in our neighborhoods. We should be able to feel protected because we, we pay the price for it. But we should also be treated humanely. Treat us as if we actually belong somewhere. You know, a lot of times I turn around and an unarmed black dude is shot by the police officer. When is the last time a black dude got shot by a police officer that actually had a gun? You haven't seen a nigga with a gun since the Dirty Harry movie. <laughs> we are people that go places now. We are people that travel. We are people that want to see things. We live in other communities. Get used to seeing us. We're only strange because of what you have in your head and what you have in your heart. And that's bias. When, poli when you call the policeman, know this. When you call that policeman and something happens, that's on you. Just like when that girl called that, that, the, the policeman and that guy at a Target with a toy gun and he gets shot, that's on you and you should be charged for it. You should be charged for it. Because policemen are going to do what they do. They should also be trained that they don't have to get, jump, escalate to violence every time something happens. Or insults every time something happens. We are people. The customer is always right, even if you ain't always white. That's a little note from the GED section. We've got the Jazz Report coming up in less than 15 minutes. This, of course, is the D.L. Hughley Show.